and for uh, different people the concept of success is different but what do you think uh, achieving the, the goals or achieving uh, maybe uh, peace of mind or humility or maybe uh, money what should be uh, the uh, idea of success for you seriously it's a very complicated uh, yeah. because it is a complicated from, yeah. question because <laughs> it's, usually it's, people yeah. are looking towards uh, this external uh, things but most of the time we talk about these internal things yeah it's a very fully loaded question yeah. so <laughs> let me really really share with you uh, because a lot of people ask me uh, because uh, what should I do? Mm. What, what's my goal? Because yeah. a lot of people are doing a lot of things. So what, what can I do? So I, I have very clear cut messages for everyone like who is watching this podcast or watching this uh, like uh, live over here. So I just ask people, what one thing is hurting you? Or what one thing like has been hurting you in your life? And now you, you've been suffering from it and now you don't want people to suffer from it. All right. You don't want people like to experience this. This is your goal and this is your opportunity. Like Jack Ma says, like you never need to get worried about where uh, your teachers are worried about. You even never get, never need to get worried about where your parents are worried about. Hmm. You never need to get worried about where your government is worried about, your friends are worried about, or your even family. I lost my my wife passed away a couple of months ago. Even oh. even yeah, yeah, you don't don't even never need to get worried about what your intimate relations or your daughter, your son, or even your wife is worried about. You need to get worried about because you're born to get worried about, whereas no one is worried about. And you need to put all your sense into it. Mm. And that would help you a lot really to get something out of your life because life is a mission. And this we is are a different individual. perspective which I've heard today. Yeah. Because thinking about something which has damages you, you don't want it to damage some other person. Exactly. That should be your goal. Exactly. And I personally feel your success is not about you. Mm. Your success is not about like one folk or with one group of people. No, your mm. success is about the people. You are born to make other people successful. It means success is not personal. And this should be the quality of a leader, I guess. <laughs> exactly. I mean, if, if, this is what we are. This is what we are bringing selflessness into hmm. it, right? It's a selflessness, you know. Uh, so, so, so you you gotta be worried about people. If you are worried about one thing, and then you put all your sense into it, it's definitely uh, every morning like it gonna wake you up. So I personally feel your success is not about you, and hmm. success is very much impersonal. And if success is impersonal, it means. Uh, y your dream is not personal, like you are not dreaming about you, you are dreaming about the people. Like yeah. if you see Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, you see Elon Musk, they are worried about people. Yes, you see no. the Mark Zuckerberg, like you are born to become a solution. And I have, most of the time I say to people, hey, this is the most powerful affirmation like you can have it, I'm a solution. I'm but a solution. But how can you give a solution to the people when you are yourself not uh, complete? Uh, with, you're not happy with yourself, you're not successful, uh, you think that I'm not good enough. And you know, you, when you I'm doubt yourself, yeah. then how would you, you know, help others? So, so first, I think, uh, what do you think that uh, doubting yourself should be the, is, is the hindrance when, uh, when it comes to, you know, letting people or helping people? Yeah, definitely it's a responsibility. Hmm. Even I'm telling you, you know, the success is not personal, your freedom is not personal, your dream is not personal. Even I feel responsibility is never a personal stuff thing. Achha. Right. Your, your responsibility, like you're not born to take responsibility of group of people or your family. No, you're responsible for everyone on this globe. It's very impersonal. So I believe, like you see, here's the greatest story happened on, on this part of globe, Dr. Ruth Fowl. Yeah. The greatest story I have discussed a lot about her, like everywhere. And I'm pretty sure like you know, people have started to understand even I'm putting selfless, selflessness into the leadership. Leadership, I mean, a lot of people like they're talking about it's a very personal, it's, it's a responsibility, no. It's a more than responsibility. It's about selflessness. It's about like taking responsibility of everyone. So the missing factor in our life is the responsibility. Mm -hmm. And what we can inculcate and what can we install into, into the people's life while they're going to the school. I trained uh, uh, 10 million people all over the globe, children, because that was my start off. I'm, I feel like uh, they're the most valuable people because um, uh, they, they're going to create the future. Yes. They are our future. And the future. So we definitely, I have I've created so many courses for the young kids. If all someone, right. yeah, if someone comes, uh, like, uh, if, if a kid like can speak English, understand English, and the age is uh, around 13 years, so if someone, some ch children like uh, if they come to my course and they attend like just six months course, I can make sure they can work like Steve Jobs, they can work like Mark Zuckerberg, they can think like that.